We're also following breaking news in Douglas County. A man is in custody after breaking into a salvage yard and firing shots at police before ramming into one of their cruisers. Your reporter Brian Sherrod joins us from Blakeland Drive in Littleton. And Brian, you just attended a briefing to learn more about what happened there with police and the suspect. And Michelle, you know, Douglas County Sheriff Darren Weekly tells us that it all started at 238 this morning when the suspect actually broke into this salvage yard on the other side of the truck. You would have been able to see the big hole that's actually in the fence, but said it happened right here on Blakeland Drive. And that's when the person ran into the police cruiser. The police cruiser actually was also on scene until about 20 minutes ago, and they took it away in a tow truck. Now, during the press conference this morning, Sheriff Weekly says the suspect identified as Brenton Zeeler ran to a police cruiser in an attempt to get away. The deputy does have minor injuries but is expected to be okay. A short time later, the car dealer was driving became disabled when he ran into a tree. Immediately afterwards, Sheriff Weekly says Zeeler shot at least five rounds at his deputies. Sheriff Weekly said it took some time, but Zeeler eventually gave up. And Sheriff Weekly also says they were going to keep pursuing Zeeler until they got him into custody because of his actions. Our deputy is pursuing this vehicle and continue to pursue after uh, he was shot at. If you shoot at our law enforcement officers, we will catch you. It doesn't dissuade us if you start shooting at us. Um, it just it just uh, aggravates the situation and we're, we're going to make sure that we get you in custody. Now, Sheriff Weekly also says that no other officers or deputies were hurt during this exchange. And they also want to mention that Zeeler did shoot multiple rounds at the officers and deputies, but they did not fire any shots back at Zeeler. They also say Zeeler is facing first degree murder charges. And there's two other people wanted in connection to this uh, in incident that happened here today. They said they're still on the lookout looking for them. There was a full perimeter here until about an hour ago. They went ahead and all the officers left the scene for the day. Now in Littleton, I'm Brian Schrod covering Colorado First. All right. Brian, thank you.